Christina Girl Hoops TV presents Christina Walker Varsity Game Time, Volume 32 versus Mount Vernon Presbyterian. We're on the road late in the season and there's a lot on my mind. And at this particular moment, it's who won the entrepreneurship team presentations earlier today at school. Once the competition was over, there was just enough time for me to make it to my game at Mount Vernon. Idea leads the all-time series between these two schools, five games to one. This is the seventh meeting between the two. Gracie Hudgens jumps center, Helen Ladding jumps center for Paideia. Opening tip up and controlled by the Lady Python. Emma Jones has it, and demand defense early on for Mount Vernon. The Mustangs trying to stamp a three-game losing skid. When he would be big against Idea, driving in and shooting and not scoring is Christina Walker. KP high posted to Gracie, backdoor cut Sarah Water. She'll lay it off the glass for two. Good start for the Lady Mustangs. It's two nothing, and it's Paideia basketball. Walker breaks the press, lays it up, and good off the glass. Skylar Tiffin puts up a circus shot off the glass too strong. Rebound Paideia, they run with it in transition. And the runner is up and no good by Christina Walker, but she's fouled and will shoot two. And two free throws for Christina Walker. Talking to Coach Muir before the ball game, saying she's getting looks from a lot of various schools, but the free throw no good. Mary Catherine Springer checks in for Mount Vernon, checking out of Skylar Tiffin. Walker had 13 points at W.D. Muhammad last night. Two threes included in that performance, and she splits the pair here. Walker will put it in. Christina Walker into Kai Carter for three. Good from the far side. Emma Jones, and she'll hand it off to Christina Walker to set up the offense. 13 to 12. Under a minute to play at 25 seconds, and Walker goes up and is fouled on the step through. Nonetheless, it's a warning, and the first free throw is good for Christina Walker. It's her fifth point, had 13 at W.D. Muhammad last night. It was one of two from the free throw line in that contest. Bags both free throws on this try for a six point. 20 seconds to play. Waters for three, got it! Sarah Waters strikes from downtown, and it's a tie ball game, 15 to 15. And a foul. So 11.1 remaining, and it's one and one for Walker, who was just at the line. Three of four tonight, and get four or five. And buys the bonus, she has her seventh point. But net on the second try, eight points, 17 to 15. Down to five seconds to go. KP to Gracie Hudgens for three, no good. And that is the end of the first quarter. Paideia under Coach Muir has had just a tremendous amount of success. Up top, Walker, down low, and Helen Ladding easily lays it in. First two points for Ladding. 21 to 17. Christina Walker, too strong off the glass. Gets her a miss. Blocked by Gracie Hudgens, but a foul. Two free throws for Christina Walker. And strips the cords on the first attempt there. Six of seven from the line. Seven of eight from the line. 
Will bounce to Christina Walker to set up the offense. Whips the basketball through, drives in the lane, runner up, good. Christina Walker gets in double figures, has 11. And Walker is fouled out front. That's the 10th team foul on Mount Vernon, so two free throws for Walker. So Walker can get to her total from last night's game at W.D. Muhammad with two makes here at the stripe. First one's off. GHSA runners up in 2002 and 2008. From 1997 to 2017, as the second free throw drops for Walker. Picks it back out, KP for three. Yes, ma'am! 18 for Katie Ann Peterson, 33 to 30. And an offensive foul on Christina Walker, her first. On this offensive foul call, I was charged with swinging my elbow when the only thing I did was rip the ball away from my opponent. So yeah, I was a little bit surprised by the call. Working against Madeline Hudgens, bounces to Christina Walker. Walker to the free throw line and is fouled on the jump shot. So here comes Christina Walker back to the free throw line where she made a living in the first half. A 200 free throws as a freshman. And the sophomore makes this one for her 13th point. This will be her 12th attempt, and she gets it to go in. 36-32, Pindale leads by four. Christina Walker on the far sideline. Stops, pops, and it drops, and she's fouled. For Walker, that's her 14th point. She'll try to complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way and does. 15 for Christina Walker. KP was at a hot hand and she just missed the three. Rebound to Mount Vernon. Out to Sarah Waters. It's over her hands, out of her reach. Christina Walker goes up and banks it in. Walker now with 17. Walker goes up and is fouled. Rita Williams didn't like the call. Christina Walker goes back to the free throw line. Where she has excelled mightily tonight. First free throw that time is off. 17 points in the ball game for Christina Walker. And that free throw is good. Gives her 18 points. Ty Carter free throw line kicks to Walker. She'll Take the three and drain it as she falls down. Walker now with 21 points. Walker plays like a veteran too. She hit that three and took just enough of a flop to try to get a call. <laughs> Didn't work, but uh, nice effort. Down low, Lanau now to Springer. Pulls up jumper. It's too strong and rebounding it is Pidea and Megan Lanau fouls. Christina Walker with 21 points in the ball game has scored in every quarter. Thirteen of her now 22 have been made at the free throw line. Down to 10 seconds though. Mount Vernon will get one last crack at it here. Gracie Hudgens steps into a three. It's short. Rebound Lanau. Two, one, and that's the ball game. Hadea got the loose ball, and the Mustangs fall 57 to 50. That dynamic duo of Christina Walker and Kai Carter. 24 for Christina Walker, 21 for Kai Carter for a combined 45 of their 57 points. With the season quickly winding down, each game becomes more and more important. And with many teams jockeying for position in the upcoming state tournament, there's little wiggle room for any unexpected setbacks. Idea under Coach Muir has had just a tremendous amount of success. From 97 to 2017, they were in the state tournament 17 of those 20 years.